So as you see, this is the project. And then this is our pool excavation line. Pretty much this entire backyard is getting stripped out. We'll be digging here till probably like five, six. This pool actually gets an automated cover. Good morning, YouTube. Back on site. We're gonna be doing another walkthrough, a morning walkthrough from our traditional angle. You gotta always have this nice, ooh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, so this is progress, looking like a little bit of a mess. We got all of our stuff around. This is the pool hole. Pool hole is finished. Concrete slab is in. We're just scraping down any little high spots or any little cream ridges that were left. Again, this features a, the whole thing is 22 feet. 15 feet, six foot deep end, three foot shallow end. And yeah, that's the concrete floor. Today, what we got on the agenda for today, we are throwing up pool walls, actually. We got our pool walls delivered. And yeah, we're ready to start building our pool walls. So y'all stay tuned for that. Another insulated concrete pool going down. Y'all know what it is. Now these are what our pool walls actually look like and what they are built out of. So I'm gonna open it for you guys. Right there, right beside me, those are our pool walls. They are pretty much insulation, just styrofoam blocks that get opened, they get stacked on top of one another and then poured with concrete. the base on your feet? Up here you do. And then this is 15 feet rise. Let's just double check that. <laughs> People are jokes, eh? He almost got pegged in the ass. <laughs> Quick access. <laughs> fantastic. I don't know. Uh, obviously, I don't have any more. Yeah, right up your ass. <laughs> Thank God Chris isn't around, eh? Bro. Oh, you fing. At least you gotta take your pants off and take a shit. <laughs> What up YouTube, midday update for you guys. As you can see behind me, we are starting to throw down some of our insulated concrete walls. This is what our pools are built out of. Over here on the deep end, we're stacking three rows high. Each row is 18 inches for a total of six feet. And then on the shallow end, we do two rows for a total of three feet. That is a three foot shallow deep, end, or sorry, three foot deep shallow end and a six foot deep deep end. Um, let me grab the camera and show you guys what this looks like. So over here we have our transition. The transition is just that point that transitions the deep end to the shallow end. 
that has to be done bang on perfectly. If that's not done well, and that angle isn't nice, um, then you are going to have discrepancies from that elevation to that elevation, and you're just gonna work your way all the way around, not level. So that needs to be perfect. Everything needs to be bang on level, which it is, because over here at Visionary, we don't do anything that's not bang on level. And now we're gonna start coming our way up this transition and then around on the shallow end. That's the midday update for you guys. Y'all stay tuned. So just to give you a more in-depth explanation of how we make sure everything lines up from the deep end to the shallow end. Once we have two courses, we go around and we start checking everything with the laser level. Um, if you can hear that, bang, that's perfect. Bang, that's perfect. Um, so yeah, we just go around, we check everywhere at the laser level to make sure everything is nice and level. That way, when we're continuing on to our shallow end, it's one nice seamless transition and you're not, you know, messing around with the walls too, too much. Okay, you can press the record button and kill it. Good morning, YouTube. We're back on site. It is Friday today, so happy Friday. Let's do our morning progress update again. Same old spot. Ooh, yeah, ooh, look at that. There's our pool. You can see our pool is now officially built. Like I've said multiple times, this is a 22 length and a 15 width pool. Three foot shallow end, six foot deep end. Walls are built today. Today we are going to be bracing the walls. We're gonna be doing our concrete collar around the top of the walls so we can get our pool cover nice and smooth and ready for that. That's what we use for bracing. These are A-frames. So basically we will have a bunch of two by fours poking up with some A-frames everywhere just to secure it. Because if we don't secure it, when we go to pour the concrete, let me just give you guys a view of this. When we go to pour the concrete, this whole thing is just gonna, it's just gonna shake. So we need to brace it. That way when we fill it with concrete, it's all nice and good. That's progress for today, or sorry, for yesterday. And y'all stay tuned on progress for today. bit of a midday update for you guys just to show you the progress so we have all of our bracing I will quickly walk around and just explain how this bracing works so the first things first is we have these brackets that get mounted on the wall and we got one up top one on the bottom again one up top again one on the bottom again one up top one on the bottom and then that goes all the way through over there. We can only fit for one. So we put little blocking underneath just to give it that extra stability. So then once we have that, we can run our horizontal boards and those horizontal boards just pretty much help keep the wall straight. It helps secure and fasten it all into pretty much one long unified wall. We do that again on the top and on the bottom. And 
once we get our horizontal pieces, we then come in and this has a little holder for two by fours. So we put our two by fours straight up and down. We tighten them, same again on the bottom. We come in, we tighten them. Actually, let me show you how this works. So you can only tighten it one way. It won't go forwards, but because of how it's designed, it has space to roll back. So we come, we tighten it. That secures it up and down. And then after it's secured up and down, we then get our A-frames. So that is an A-frame, where's my finger? That's an A-frame, goes all the way down. So we secure that up here, and then we go and we tap con it. It's not done yet, but we come and then we screw that with tap cons into the concrete. Now, when that's done, that will really secure and it'll hold the whole wall. And it has these little nubs. Um, so after we secure everything, we take these nubs with a little screw bit and this either drills right or left, which then in turn takes this A-frame and either pushes it out or sucks it in. And that's actually how we're able to control the length. Now, if you guys see here, we still need to straighten out this wall, but it's already really, really close to being perfect. Um, we still have a couple spots where we gotta go in and straighten them out. So that's what we're about to do next. We're gonna finish tap potting these into the ground those ones over there. And then we're gonna go run a string line, eye it down, and we're going to say go out or go in. And then we go and we check it with the level just to make sure everything's level up and down. Um, and then, yeah, once that's done, then we're ready to start putting on our collar. But I'll show you guys about that. Just wanted to give you a little bit of an update, a little bit of an explanation on how we race our ICF insulated concrete pools. It's quite the system, it takes a little bit of time, but honestly, it's pretty fun. right in the way, attaboy Roni. Ah. All right, another update for you guys, just to kind of continue off of the whole framing the pool area. Behind me, all of the A-frames are finally secured on the ground. You take a look here, everything is secured. It's all tap conned into the floor. All of those straight up and downs have A-frames. So what we're gonna be doing next is we are going to go around and straighten the walls. Now let me kind of explain to you what that looks like and why we do it. So, if we look down this wall, it's already fairly straight as it is, but if you can see over there, that's gotta actually come out a little bit just so it's perfect. If we look down this wall, it looks like in the middle over here, that has to go in, so we'll pull that in. And then if we check out this wall, which honestly looks really close to being perfect, it looks like just over here a little bit, it's gotta go in. And yeah, that's how we do it. We do it with the A-frame system. Now, the people who made these bracing systems is called Fabform, it's a company. And honestly, they did a phenomenal job when building it. Let me kind of show you the two pieces that we have. So from them, we buy we buy that, which mounts on the wall, and then we also buy that, which then mounts on the ground. Those are the two pieces that we need to buy. The rest is just two by fours. If anyone knows anything about ICF and insulated concrete forms, traditionally, you would have to order these massive crates. They're extremely heavy. They take up a lot of space, so you can't really just have them in your trailer sitting there. Uh, they're a nuisance to carry around and to work with. These are so much lighter, so much easier and simpler to use. So shout out Fabform. Thank you guys for making an awesome product and making our lives easier. We will continue to rep you guys. We'll continue to sing your praises and use your product. But nonetheless, that's what we're doing now. So y'all stay tuned.
Uh, same with the next out towards the swamp just a little bit. A bit more. Good. And then go over one more. And then that one out towards the swamp just a little bit. Good.